Like, zero fucks given, okay? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about your opinion. I don't give a shit about what it is you want. I don't give a shit about what it is you think I should be doing or you think I should be saying or the, I don't care, okay? And this is not me trying to be an asshole. This is me just being like, yo, this is me. And if you don't like it, then there are plenty of other people for you to associate with. There are plenty of other people for you to, to try and manipulate and get what you want out of. Like, I don't give a fuck. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, for your moment, whenever, doesn't matter. Please keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that is the message for you in that moment. There are a plethora of readings and channeled messages and whatnot, whatever within the morning coffee playlist, which can be found in the top right of your screen. Um, definitely make sure to uh, pay attention to the titles and not the dates, as the titles are the most important. The title is going to give you uh, an indication as to whether or not the reading is going to resonate for you or there's a message in there for you, if not, or what, whatever. Yeah? Excellent. Uh, happy Thursday. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I'm going to get into a little bit of story time, so if you would like to skip story time, uh, just the timestamps can be found in the description box below, also in the pinned comment below. Um, you're going to have to excuse me. I did shower this morning and my hair is still wet, so like, <laughs> it's dripping down my the back of my neck. At least it's going down the back of my neck. See, whatever. Anyway, so um, hi guys. Uh, happy Thursday. I hope you guys are doing well. So um, I was planning on doing happy hour last night, but I ended up not doing it. Yesterday turned into a day of, you know what, just fuck it. Well, it was like, it was one of those days where you just like throw your hands up in the air and you're like, well, I guess this is happening or I guess this is not happening. So whatever, we're just going to do what the fuck ever we want today. Um, that's, that's literally what it, what it turned into. So yesterday was Wednesday. It was hump day. Yes. Um, and so I've come in, in this whole effort to try and balance things out, you know, not over give and not overextend myself and <laughs> excuse me. And to make sure that, you know, I'm making sure that my energy is balanced and I'm keeping my reserves and I'm not depleting myself. Right. Um, I've decided that on Wednesdays or just on days that I do happy hour, I've kind of decided to uh, not try and do too much extra in the, in the realm of readings on, during that day, just so that I don't wear myself out and I'm like depleted by the end of the day or by the time I reach like we get halfway through happy hour, right? Okay. This week was a little different though, because it is the end of the month and um, I wanna get the monthly readings out for August 1st, right? Either on or before August 1st, if possible. So I was allowing, I, I, I had resolved to, to say, well, you know what, I can, I can work on, let's just not do morning coffee then, okay? Let's not do morning coffee. And instead I'll use that energy to work on three of the monthly readings you know, to keep myself on track and all that. And then we can, and then I'll, you know, rest for the rest of the day and then we'll do happy hour, right? Okay, that seemed like a good idea. So yesterday I, um, <clears throat> I enjoyed my morning. I got up, didn't force myself to get up out of bed too quickly. Um, I made a pot of coffee. I sat outside in the hammock for a while and meditated and connected with nature and had a really, really nice morning and then I came in and I made some breakfast and I was like all right let's get going let's get ready to go right by the time I was getting ready to sit down and do work on some of the monthly readings it was like around 11 o'clock or so and I had decided to open my door here now I have two doors to my apartment okay you guys I am so so wet. Look at this. Oh no! Wet collar. <laughs> That's what I was trying to avoid. Wait, hold on a second. I was trying, you guys. I was trying so hard to avoid the whole wet collar situation, but it seems 
it's unavoidable at this point. Um, okay, anyway, back to story time. Um, it was like around 11 o'clock when I was getting ready to like settle in, start doing some monthly readings and blah, blah, blah. Oh, and I had decided to leave to open this door. Now I have two doors to my apartment. Um, there's the main door that I use all the time, which is where like my, my bed is and like my kitchenette area and all that stuff. And then there's another door here in <clears throat> the second room, which, is, which I've made into the studio. Um, but I have not, I don't really leave that door open much any longer. Number one, because the net that I have there, like the screen that I put in, is, has gotten completely destroyed and mangled between the cats going in and out constantly, Jinx trying to climb up it, uh, you know, chasing things, and it just, it got screwed up while I was putting it up, and it's not really the right size, this, that, and the third, and eventually it's just like, it's really like, it's not even, it's, like I really should just take it down and get a new one. Um, to, on top of that, when it gets pretty windy, I mean, the, this net, it like it's when the wind blows, it's absolutely freaking useless. Like it just blows wide open and defe defeats the purpose of having the net there because then all the bugs and mosquitoes can get in, right? So I don't keep that door open very often anymore. But now that I got this fogger stuff to like combat, help combat some of the, the black flag stuff, I was like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. So I opened the door, I sprayed the net down. It was pretty good. The only hazard was the fact that the wind would blow and blow it wide open, but I have this fogger thing, so it's really not that big of a deal. It's all good, right? So, okay. So, um, sorry guys, uh, my allergies are acting up now for some reason. I think it might be the sage. Anyway, um, and I am so wet. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm sitting down and uh, and I was I resolved to work on the fire signs yesterday, right? Excellent. So I sit down. I'm starting with Aries. Um, I get like five minutes into recording the video, right? Like I sat down. I pulled the pre-shuffle. I, I started recording, did the intro, was in the middle, was just beginning to like get into the meat of the pre-shuffle energy. When all of a sudden I hear... And, and I swear, you'll be able to hear this, you guys. If you watch the Aries video for for August, you'll once it's released, you'll be able to hear what I'm talking about because I was sitting down at my computer afterwards editing it. We'll get there. But I was editing it and I could hear it while I... It's... You'll be able to hear it. All of a sudden, coming from my neighbor across the way, I hear Bluetooth device ready for pairing. And it stopped me for a second. I was like, uh, oh, that's distracting. Okay, so like, what the fuck ever, like whatever, it wasn't a big deal, right? It wasn't that big of a deal until my neighbor started playing um, some sort of sermon or something like that. I don't know. I think it was, it, I mean, it, again, uh, well, not again, I, I, I mean, for, Sorry guys, uh, I, I still don't, I, I, I do not speak Spanish fluently, okay? It was my goal to come to move here and to learn, but we could talk about that another time. Um, I, I mean, I, I know some things and I'm starting to understand, like I'm starting to get the gist of it and everything like that, but like, I still don't speak Spanish fluently. So I don't know what they were, what that was, but it does, it sounded like some sort of sermon, like, some sort of like a preacher or something like that doing their thing. Okay, cool. So I went through, so, so I went through the rest of the reading and I could clearly hear what was being played across the way. And I was trying to like, just work through it. And I was able to get through the Aries reading, but then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to fight against this any longer. And I'm kind of aggravated. I'm kind of, I was kind of aggravated anyway. Like I was feeling some type of way yesterday anyway, just because of some of the shit that's going around, going on around me right now in like my environment with, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into it, but I was already feeling some type of way because of some shit that's going on. And I was putting it aside and I was doing my work, but then that on top of it, I was like, it was to the point where it's like, it's okay. Like, I'm not mad about it. Like, and, and, and we're, I'm going to get into it because there's a point here, but I wasn't really trying to be all that angry or pissed off about it. It's just that 
I couldn't concentrate. Like it was one of those things where it was loud enough for me to hear and it was interfering with me trying to, to channel and everything like that. Like it, it, it went, okay. So I finished the Aries reading and I sat there and I was, and I, and I thought to myself for a good amount of time, I was like, what am I going to do now? Like I can try and force myself to get through Leo and Sagittarius, but like, why do that? And my spirit and like uh, my higher self, like internally, I was like, yeah, that's a good idea, Eric. Like, don't force yourself to do this right now. Okay. So I went to my computer, I uploaded the video to my computer and I sat, I was sitting there, you know, do, doing the editing for it. Right. Cause I was like, well, at least I can, I can finish this so that it's done, ready to be uploaded when, once I want to upload everything. And as I'm sitting at my computer doing my work or like, like just editing things, it's as if they were turning up the volume or at least whatever they were listening to over there. The person was getting people. I mean, it, it was getting more. It was ramping up and up and up and up to finally it got to a point where like later on, maybe like about an hour or so later, it's like the guy, the guy was screaming at the top of his lungs. It was a very impassionate. It was a very passionate uh, sermon, I guess. And it's like, it's almost as if like they were playing it for the whole like neighborhood to hear, right? And I'm like, okay, this is fairly ironic. And I ended up, while I was doing the reading for Aries, I ended up pausing and going and closing the door, okay? So that it could kind of help. And that didn't even help, right? So that was at that point that I was like, okay, I need to just like go with the flow here right now. But, so I'm sitting at my computer I'm editing the situation and this whatever is they're listening to across the way it was just getting louder and louder and louder and it turned me off to everything to everything yesterday now like I said I was already feeling some type of way okay uh, and I said to myself you know what Eric you really don't have to do shit right now and there are probably going to be some people around that are going to be like, oh, well, he said he was doing this, that, and the third, but I don't see him doing anything. And that was exactly the reason why I said, fuck it, I'm not doing shit today. First of all, like, I, I had to really sit there and keep myself in my ego in check because I was like almost ready to pop off. Like, yo, y'all want to turn that shit down? Like, there are other people around here, blah, 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 this, that, and the third. But then, of course, I had to sit there and to keep myself in check and check myself and be like, whoa, wait a second, Eric, because I'm pretty sure there have been some moments where you blasted your music out here for the whole fucking world to hear. And now all of a sudden that someone else is doing it, now you're pissed off? Uh-uh, doesn't work that way. Well, I'm trying to work this, that, and the third. How do you know they weren't trying to work before? Right? Like I literally had to sit down. I had to tell myself to take several seats in that moment because it's just like, you know what? Who the fuck cares? Let these people live their lives. Let them do what it is they're gonna do. I mean, it's not gonna last all day, is it? And of course I had to stop myself from taking it personally because it's like, because like, okay, I would understand if, you know, all morning they were doing some stuff, but it was literally, oh right, I burned myself. <laughs> it was literally, the moment that I sat down to start doing my readings with the door wide open, it's not like they can't hear me, right? So then I also had to keep myself in check. How many times, or for this last year, how much have these people had to sit around and listen to you talk to yourself, right? Doing these readings. Like, chill out, Eric. Okay, you know what? You have a really great point, okay. So I'm not mad about that. I, I don't have to be mad about that. But damn it, I don't want to do shit. I don't want, and, 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 and it's not like I knew it wasn't going to last all day. It started to rain all of a sudden and like, and then whatever they, they either, whatever they were listening to stopped or they turned it off or whatnot, whatever. Okay. But I mean, by like around like 1230, one o'clock, it was done. Like it was done. But by then I was, I was done. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm not doing a damn thing today. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to play Factorio, I'm going to have a good day. But see, now this all translates into that message that I posted from Phil Good two days ago. And it was all about not doing something if it doesn't feel good to you. 
because and, and if you guys haven't watched that I highly recommend that you check it out now now I know like I haven't I, I, I never really subscribed to him I never really watched him all that much I know he did come up in my feed and I checked him out, blah, blah, blah. And there were some moments where I was just like, I don't know if I resonate with this, blah, blah, blah. And so, I mean, I I, I don't listen to him often. Um, but there are some moments where, you know, something comes through and I'm like, yeah, I, I thank you, Phil. Like, thank you. I needed to hear that. And this was one of those messages. It was one of those moments. If you haven't if you didn't see that, if you haven't seen that yet, check my community tab. Um, it's uh, <laughs> it basically is it's a it's it's me saying how much I loved this message, um, but it's from Phil Good. Check it out. It's a really good. Um, it's a really really excellent, excellent excellent uh, video. Excellent message. The bulk of that message is him talking about how you are not going to, if you are walking this path of ascension, like all of us are here on this channel, in this community, then you are not going to receive anything from ego. If you're sitting around saying, I want this, this, and this, I've been trying to manifest it, but it's not coming. Why is it not coming? It's because you are not going to, your higher self, God's source creator, the universe, is not going to give you what it is you want out of ego. Because, and this might seem ass backwards, but it's because your higher self, whatnot, whatever, loves you that much. Okay, so how does that translate? How does that translate into what I was, there's more, but how does it translate into what I was going through yesterday? Well, my ego wanted to sit down, look at this, I'm going to have to change my shirt, you guys because this is embarrassing. Like I am not doing the rest of the reading with my shirt like this. I'm gonna have to change it. But you know what, let me get through happy, let me get through story time first. Maybe my hair will dry up a little bit more and then we can change the situation. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, my ego wanted to sit here and get a bunch of work done. Number one, because I had already told a bunch of people, this is my plan for the day, this is what I'm gonna be doing, sorry, I can't hang out. Now, I'm not trying to hang out during the week anyway. Like, I'm trying to keep my energy, my time and my energy to myself. I am working very diligently on staying in alignment with myself. I have been spending so much time alone cultivating this level of alignment with myself and I am not going to let anything or anyone knock me out of it which means that I'm limiting the amount of time that I'm spending out with with friends with a bunch of people in an environment where there are a ton of people around uh, drinking hanging out smoking whatnot like I'm, I'm trying very hard to limit all of that right so that's part of the reason number one why I'm not trying to hang out during the week but number two I'm trying to stay in alignment so that I can be here to bring the messages for forward for what my job is right here right now I mean like yes I call it a job but it's also my calling it's something that I'm very passionate about it's something that I want to do so that's why I'm also not already hanging out during the week but also it's a little bit of an extra special week because it's the end of the month. So I have a little bit more that I need to be getting done, right? Okay, so I'm, I'm keeping my boundaries up to be able to do that. So my ego is sitting here saying, I have this, 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 and this to do today. But my heart and my soul said, nope. I absolutely do not feel like doing this right now. And after I heard that message from Phil, I'm like, so I'm not going to get anything that I want out of ego drive. And what I need to be doing is paying attention to what it is, how it is I truly feel about something. Which translates into if I'm feeling like I'm doubting this right now and I don't want to do this right now, my heart is saying no, but my mind is logically saying yes, you have to do this. The natural answer is to say, nope, absolutely not. I didn't want to sit here and force myself to do two more readings to compete, having to compete over someone else, whatever someone else was listening to across the way, risking the, 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 the validity or the strength or the power of the channeling because I have all kinds of interference I'm trying to keep up with. And number two, I'm so annoyed and fed up right now that I really just don't want to do a damn thing. And you want to know why I don't want to do a damn thing? Because I fucking can. 
I can choose what it is I want to do and what it is I don't want to do. And if you don't like it, you can kick fucking rocks. See? Oh, okay. And then on top of that, so I, I didn't I didn't want to do I didn't want to continue with the readings yesterday. And also I didn't necessarily want to do happy hour last night. Number one, I really wasn't feeling it. Straight up and down, I really wasn't feeling it. But number two, I want to I want that next, I want one of our sessions, our live sessions to be a session where we talk about this whole dimensional reality thing that I mentioned a, f a few days ago that you guys seemed very, very interested in, interested in. And I also, part of the reason why I kind of wanted to postpone or cancel happy hour for that night was because I wanted to give more people time to get the message that I'm trying to have this live stream where we talk about the whole dimension thing. So if you want to be talk about that, be there for it, right? But I want to give more no, more notice, wanted to give people more time to get in on that. So, okay, that's what we're going to do. So that's also part of the reason why. But at the same time, it's like, no, no. If I don't feel like I want to do something, if something isn't in alignment, I am not going to force it. I'm not going to. It's not going to happen. So that was my day yesterday. So I literally did nothing. Well, I didn't do nothing. I did exactly what I felt like I wanted to do all day long. And it was great. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. What I don't love is how wet my collar is right now. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna change my shirt. Hold on a second. Okay, let's hope that my hair has dripped dry enough to not get this collar all wet. Anyway, so, but then on top of that, the other energy that I've kind of settled into today, or not just today, over the last few days, this week, I guess, is really just an energy of like not giving a flying fuck. Like zero fucks given, okay? Like, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about your opinion. I don't give a shit about what it is you want. I don't give a shit about what it is you think I should be doing or you think I should be saying or the, I don't care. Okay, oh. and this is not me trying to be an asshole. This is me just being like, yo, this is me. And if you don't like it, then there are plenty of other people for you to associate with. There are plenty of other people for you to, to try and manipulate and get what you want out of. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like to the point where like, I haven't even done my nails this week. I don't, I, I, I look at that. I, and I'm doing monthly, re I'm like recording my monthly readings without having given myself a new fucking manicure. What do I need a new man manicure for? Did you come here to look at a pretty face with a beautiful manicure or did you come here for a message from spirit? Like what's really important here, right? Zero fucks given, <laughs> okay? Let's just, let's just make that clear. I don't give a flying fuck, all right? I'm here to do what it is I'm being called to do. I have this ability to read these cards and bring these messages here for you. That's what I'm gonna do. And if it's not in alignment, I'm not gonna do it at that time. And if it, it may not necessarily be what you want to hear, but it's definitely what needs to come through. And I am not going to, and I am getting myself, and, mm, Okay, I, I'm getting myself into a position where I'm not going to censor myself any longer. It's quite obvious that I have this ability and I'm not trying to sit here and toot my own horn and say and talk about how fucking awesome I am. No, I'm not trying to do that. I'm being real and honest with myself. I have this ability. I'm damn good at it. Okay, I tried so hard, especially in the beginning of my channel when I was dealing with this whole twin flame fucking situation and I had a bunch of people around me trying to tell me how crazy I am or looking at me six ways sideways. I had this other person running around, you know, I mean, we were both running around talking about each other. I'm not gonna lie. We were both running around talking about each other, but there was this element for me in the beginning of not being a fraud. Like I was already being called Miss Cleo by this jackass chef that I worked for at the time, right? Like, oh, you're so funny. But at the same time, that's fucking insulting, okay? I'm not a fucking fraud. I am, no, I am speaking the truth. I'm picking up on shit and you're trying to gaslight me right now. I don't appreciate that. But that only led to me trying to censor myself. 
and trying so hard to seem legit. I don't need to seem any more legit than I already seem now, all right? It's been established. No fucks given. So if there's a message coming through here, it's coming through here. You don't like it, kick rocks. And I'm sorry, if I, I'm sorry, not sorry. Like I'm being real, I'm being real extra right now, but this is me, bitch. Take it or leave it, okay? Feeling some type of way, y'all. And I'm not, and I'm not gonna let that, I'm not gonna censor that either. Cause that's very much a part of who I am. Okay, y'all know how much I love you. I wouldn't be here every day, every fucking day if I didn't love you, if I didn't love this, if I didn't, if I weren't answering the call that I've been called to answer, okay? But I am not gonna play these games. People need to wake the fuck up. Or get left behind. And you'll have to do it another time. Does that make sense? I'm tired of playing games. And I'm tired of trying to be something or someone that I'm not. I'm tired of trying to kowtow to people, to dumb down the message, to water down the message just to save somebody's ego or fragile state of mind. Fuck that. Buck up. This ain't for the lighthearted. Okay? This is serious. You want to fuck around, you can fuck around somewhere else. I'm not, I am not the one. I am not the one. I am so frustrated with people, with humanity, with the state of the world, with people that are older than uh, generations above me. And please don't take this wrong because I know there are plenty of people in other, in, in older generations that connect here. And I know this is not you, but I am so tired of being gaslit by the people that are in the elder generations that were supposed to be supporting us, caring for us, taking care of us, nurturing us, and growing, helping us grow into the best versions of ourselves that we can be. And I know y'all in older generations dealt with that shit too, but I am so goddamn tired of being gaslit. And I'm not gonna take it any longer. So if that means that now all of a sudden I'm becoming some sort of, you wanna call me a, 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 a conspiracy theorist or you wanna tell me that I'm spreading fear and all that shit, no. Wake up. Open your eyes and open your ears. And I posted this on my personal Facebook page yesterday. There is a very good reason why I spend so much damn time alone. Open your eyes to what is actually going on around you. Stop paying so much attention to the words that people use and watch their actions. Case in point, the Senate of the United States of America. Our president, currently. What did they tell us they were gonna do to get into office? Riddle me this, y'all. Answer the damn question. What did they tell us they were gonna do when they got into office? Okay, what are they doing now? Stop paying so much attention to the words people use and pay attention to their actions. Feel in some type of way. You know what? I'm not going to use the cards today. This is something I've been called to do for some time now. Um, and somebody on my Instagram page sent me a, I'm, my hair is still dripping, you guys. <laughs> anyway, um, this, uh, somebody on my Instagram page a few months ago sent me a message and it was actually the second time. It was the second time that someone said this to me. I remember, I think it was a live stream last year, sometime last year, someone said to me, someone left, posted in the chat, you know, there's going to be a time where you're not even going to need the cards any longer. And when she said that, I was like, yeah, that's cute. And it kind of felt good, but I, I resisted it a little bit. I was like, no, I love the cards. I love using the cards. I trust me, y'all. I love using the cards. And I'm already feeling a little bit of separation anxiety right now. Like, eh, I want the cards, but no, no cards today. No cards today. 
at least not for morning coffee. Um, and then another person a, a few months ago sent me a message on Instagram. Now, granted, you know, she, she was saying the same thing, you know, you should let the cards, you should kind of let the cards go because um, they kind of dim, they steal your shine and you shine anyway. And I was like, oh, thanks, you're cute. And then she like roped Doreen Virtue in there and I was like, whoa, okay, pump the brakes. Like I didn't say that, but I was like, <laughs> whoa, pump the brakes. Okay, I'm not going down the route of, of Doreen Virtue. I'm not going down the route of A Minute with Mila, if y'all remember her. Like, I'm not one of those readers that's now going to forsake the cards and say that they're, they're evil. Fuck all that, okay? Get the fuck up out of here with that bullshit, okay? The cards are, they're, they're fucking paper. They're paper, all right? Obviously, I have a relationship with them. Energetically, we have a relationship. We've cultivated a relationship and they communicate with me. I communicate with them. We're best friends. But the relationship that you cultivate with the piece of paper that is this card is on you. Okay? Don't come out here talking about demonizing everybody else, saying that we're talking to the devil, we're channeling demons, this, that, and the fuck. Some people are, but not all of us. So I would kindly ask you to get the fuck out of here with that. Okay? But I don't need the cards. I don't. I can look you up and down and read you left and right center right here. I like to use them. They're fun. They're beautiful. They're exciting. And it adds a, a level of wonder, right? It adds a level of like, how many times have y'all, you yourselves who are readers out there too, or you who have gotten a reader from someone, you're saying something or they're saying something, blah, 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 and all of a sudden, boop, that card comes out. I was just saying that, right? That's cool. It's fun. It's exciting. Anyway, I don't even know where I was going with that tangent, but here we are. And I think the title of this video or of this message should be No Fucks Given. Stop bending over backwards. Stop bending over backwards for people who are just trying to serve and please themselves. Stop. <laughs> there's no point to it. I want to say there's no, Spirit's kind of saying there's no point to it anymore. But quite, quite frankly, you guys, there never really was a point to it. Although, of course, yes, there was. It did serve a purpose. What Spirit is saying, what Spirit is showing me now is that, yes, it did serve a purpose. Because you had to be led down that road, down that path, through that experience for a reason. So that you could learn from it. Okay? In my case, what I see it as I personally am gaining the, the lesson of instead of paying so much attention to what other people are saying to me and what other people are saying I should be doing, instead I need to be paying more attention to myself. And that has been a major life lesson for me since the day I was born. I'm not trying to sit here and say that I had it any extra or any worse than anybody else. We all grew up with expectations being dumped on us from day one, from jump. From the moment you were conceived, not even since the moment that you popped out the birth canal, the moment you were conceived, and all of a sudden now your mother or both your mother and your father are aware that you are in gestation, there have been expectations placed upon you. Serve us, is what I just heard. Which leads us back to that to that, that to that video from Phil Good that I pro that I posted. He said something. Now he, he said multiple things in that video that I had already reached the understanding of on my own, like literally like a day or two before he I even heard him say it. So that was all kinds of confirmation, right? But the biggest one, the one that really caught my attention, was the point in the video where he says. He speaks to your parents and he asks the question, did your parents conceive you out of pure, unadulterated, unconditional love or did they conceive you out of service to themselves? And my head damn near exploded at that point because I had already figured that out. There are so many of us that have been in, that are in these, that have been incarnated into these physical meat suits. That were conceived out of expectation. Not because they really actually wanted to have children. 
just for the sake of having children and loving a human being and bringing it into the world and allow and, and nurturing them into the sense of individuality that they naturally are. Oh, no, 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 no. A vast majority of us were conceived so that our parents could gain something from it, whether that be status whether that be accolades, whether that be some another human being to follow in the footsteps of the mother and the father, to, to continue the life the mother and the father started or lived. or And, and this is generational, right? This goes, I, I mean, this goes back centuries. This is not a new practice, you guys. But this is something I had already figured out. I was asking myself that question years ago. I didn't actually ask my parents that, but I guess I should. Why did you have us? Because there are, and this is part of the realization that I came to that helped me understand to not take anything personally anymore because it literally has nothing to do with me. It literally has nothing to do with you. It has to do with the other person and what it is they want and what they're willing to do to get it. Why did you have us? You didn't have us because you love us. I mean, I'm not saying you don't love us, but you didn't have us because you love us. You had us for, for status, for money. And then think about it this way, you guys. There are certain individuals in our government right now, certain elected officials that are running this whole, spitting this whole narrative of if you don't have children, you shouldn't have a right to vote because you don't have anything to gain. You have nothing in, in you have no sort of stake in the future of this country. Are you out of your fucking mind? Because I don't have children, I have no stake in the game. You mean to tell me I don't have I don't have nieces and nephews. I don't have little cousins. I don't have best friends with children. You mean to tell me because I fertility, I literally cannot have children in the case of people with fertility issues. You mean to tell me because I literally physically cannot bear a child or cannot conceive a child. I have no stake in the government that owns, that, that governs my life, in the country that I live in. Are you fucking kidding me? Feeling some type of way, y'all. This is a side of myself that I have hid from you guys for a very long time. Even though I wasn't necessarily all that good at hiding it because it did come out many a time, I am not going to hide it any longer. And if this is triggering to you, sorry, but not sorry. And you have every right to move on to disconnect. But if this is triggering you, then you need to figure that out. We're not gonna hold your hand any longer. We're not gonna baby you any longer. You need to face yourself. And you need to face your shit. And you need to stop projecting onto other people. Period. I'm gonna end it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I love you all immensely, so incredibly much. Have you ever noticed how um, those that you love, or at least those that you have an emotional connection to, are the ones that make you the angriest? Anger is not something to be dismissed. You are not any less divine because you get angry. What makes you an evolved soul is not the fact that you don't get angry. It's what you do with that anger, how you handle that anger. That's what makes you evolved. The highest level souls will still feel some sort of anger at some point, most likely, if you push them hard enough. Anyway, we're gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>